low-achieving students are more likely to drop out. Some males drop out of school early. The fundamental reason for this is due to push and pull forces. The main reason for the attraction is because the economy and market offer numerous career prospects for guys, with the most common destinations being shipping and traineeship. So dropping out of school isn't always a terrible thing for boys. Girls, on the other hand, do not have the same opportunities. Because there are fewer occupations accessible for girls, they are less inclined to drop out. It's a difficult transmission. Dropping out of school is terrible for girls, and if they do, they can either seek part-time work or remain unemployed. These have been critical considerations for many in regards to the future of artificial intelligence. Alan Turing, a British computer scientist, chose to ignore all of these concerns. In favor of a far more straightforward question, can a machine converse with humans? This question sparked the development of the Turing test, a method for assessing artificial intelligence. Turing devised the following game in his 1950 paper Computing Machinery and Intelligence. Unseen players have a text chat with a human judge, who examines their responses. A computer must be able to substitute one of the players without significantly altering the results in order to pass the test. In other terms, a machine is intelligent if its dialogue is difficult to differentiate from that of a human. Turing anticipated that machines with 100 megabytes of memory will easily pass his test by the year 2000. He may, however, have gotten ahead of the gun. The ugly Christmas sweater has become a must-wear for any holiday party. Whether you don one nostalgically or ironically, it's wearable joy and a great way to spark up a conversation. With themes ranging from Grumpy Cat to Pac-Man, Grinch and Alice in Wonderland, they have plenty of options for your next Christmas party. If you're throwing your own ugly Christmas sweater party, you may want to consider picking up a couple of extras for guests who dare to show up without one. Eden donates 5% of its holiday profits to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital to support its research and treatment, and support families with children undergoing treatment.
When it comes to the final years of life, communication and planning are the keys to ensuring that your life song hits the right note. A new survey conducted by Home Instead Incorporated, franchisor of the Home Instead Senior Care Network, found that 85% of surveyed seniors who have made plans for their final years agree that planning is a chance to decide how their life's story ends. The following tips can help with starting a plan for the final years. 1. Consider personality and preferences. Where do you or your loved one want to spend your final years, months or days? 2. Communicate with loved ones. It may be a difficult conversation to have, but it's crucial. 3. Identify people who can help plan. 4. Put finances in order. 5. Complete a personal planning guide. There are resources available to help you in the planning process. 6. Create a bucket list. It's never too late to follow your dreams. Now because you're having all these cities and all these factories people are going to move to these cities for work, and you're going to have a lot of different people from different areas in one particular small geographic location. So you're going to be seeing these people interact a lot more than you would in small rural areas. Also, you're going to have housing shortages, crime, lack of jobs so there's a lot of things that you could observe and test and see. And this is what sociology really takes off as a science. Well, there's probably around about a 10% chance, up to a 10% chance of that occurring. It's really hard to crystal ball these sorts of things because we can't use the historic data we've got. Over 116 years of records on inflows into the system, we are continuing to break every record, and so it's very, very difficult to forecast going forward when you're in the midst of such an extreme event. Pam, are you studying anything new these days? Kyle, well I have started to study about astronomy. Pam, oh cool. Kyle, yeah, I really like stars. Pam, me too. They are really pretty. Kyle, I like to watch stars at night at my house because there is really less light but I do not know about the stellar I suppose or constellations. Rick, so? Is there anything that you have been studying these days Bob, recently started to study cooking? Rick, cooking.
Today's reverse mortgage has more uses than you may realize. In fact, many financial advisors are now recommending this loan to their older clients. Why? A reverse mortgage allows you to access a portion of your home equity and use the funds to pay off your current mortgage. Any remaining money can be used for anything. The program has a variety of products to meet specific goals. The fixed rate loan allows you to receive a lump sum or monthly distributions. The purchase loan product allows you to purchase a home without a required monthly mortgage payment as long as you live there. However, according to One Reverse Mortgage, a leading lender in the reverse mortgage industry since 2007, the most popular and beneficial loan option is the line of credit, which has the potential to grow in value over time. It's a fact that people today are living longer, and studies show that many are not financially prepared for retirement. According to an article from Time magazine, one in three Americans does not have any money saved for retirement. A new approach to making everything from jet engines to toys, called 3D printing, is creating a revolution in manufacturing, and a small company called Sigma Labs Incorporated has an enabling technology that can make it happen. In traditional manufacturing, companies start with metal or other materials, then cut, shape or drill the material to get the finished products. In the late 1980s, however, researchers at MIT came up with a radical new idea. Instead of cutting material away, why not build things by adding layer after successive layer? The method they developed was similar to printing ink onto paper, only in three dimensions. 3D printing, also called additive manufacturing, is now becoming big business. GE Aviation uses it to build jet engine fuel nozzles, for instance, instead of welding together 20 small pieces. Technology Review recently named additive manufacturing one of its 10 breakthrough technologies. But 3D printing turns out to have a major challenge, it's extraordinarily difficult to build identical top quality parts every single time. Tourists visiting Yellowstone National Park's famous geyser, Old Faithful, will even tires once they get out of their cars for a closer look. Old Faithful, you see, now boasts a porous, clean, flexible walkway made almost entirely of recycled Michelin tires. The paved surface, known as FlexiPave and manufactured by the company KB Industries, KBI, is kinder to the environment than asphalt because the permeable composite material allows for better erosion control and preservation of the natural patterns of groundwater flow. In addition, the walkway surface is highly durable and tolerant of extreme hot or cold weather, and does not leach any oil into the surrounding environment.
The world's largest celebration of opportunity in education starts next week. National School Choice Week 2018 begins on January 21, shining a positive spotlight on traditional public schools, public charter schools, public magnet schools, private schools, online academics, and homeschooling. The goal is simple, to let parents know that they have choices when it comes to their children's education, and to celebrate the many different and effective education options available for. When you visit your doctor of chiropractic, feel free to have your insurance care ready. About 30 million Americans seek chiropractic care annually, and apparently not all of them know their visits are routinely covered by major medical insurance carriers, Medicare, workers' compensation, and even some Medicaid. The 99% has watched gas price follow a perpetual climb that has left consumers wallowing at the pump. By the beginning of April, the national average was $3.92. Though it's since fallen about 18 cents for most regions the West Coast is still staring at billboards offering $4.37 a gallon. Fuel isn't the only cost crippling middle-class Americans. While the Consumer Price Index, CPI, may be relatively unchanged on a seasonally adjusted basis, the Wall Street Journal says core inflation is rising and the Federal Reserve can't ignore that for long. The 99% has watched gas price follow a perpetual climb that has left consumers wallowing at the pump. By the beginning of April, the national average was $3.92. Though it's since fallen about 18 cents for most regions the West Coast is still staring at billboards offering $4.37 a gallon. Fuel isn't the only cost crippling middle-class Americans. While the Consumer Price Index, CPI, may be relatively unchanged on a seasonally adjusted basis, the Wall Street Journal says core inflation is rising and the Federal Reserve can't ignore that for long. NLS is the National Library Services for the Blind and Physically Handicapped, part of the Library of Congress. Established in 1931, the organization's mission is to enrich the lives of its patrons by offering them books, magazines, music scores, and other materials in audio and braille at no charge. Unlike traditional audiobooks that are provided at public libraries or sold at retail bookstores, audiobooks offered by NLS are unabridged, extensive and diverse, and are designed specifically for people who are unable to read regular print. NLS is the National Library Services for the Blind and Physically Handicapped, part of the Library of Congress. Established in 1931, the organization's mission is to enrich the lives of its patrons by offering them books, magazines, music scores, and other materials in audio and braille at no charge. Unlike traditional audiobooks that are provided at public libraries or sold at retail bookstores, audiobooks offered by NLS are unabridged, extensive and diverse, and are designed specifically for people who are unable to read regular print.
The article considered the leisure habits of teenagers in rural areas or places. The article considered the leisure habits of teenagers in rural areas or places. The director of the gallery was grateful for the anonymous donation. The director of the gallery was grateful for the anonymous donation. If you need any assistance please get help from the general office. If you need any assistance please get help from the general office.